how to add a related table to Business Central using the simple object designer. Hey, I'm Eric, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a related table. Um, and you might ask, hey, what is a related table uh, compared to a normal table? And let me show you with an example. Here is the, uh, the item card. And over on the side, we have item attributes, right? And if I switch to different item, I can get different attributes because those attributes are related to the item that we are on. Um, so that's a related table. And to create one of those in, in Business Central using the Simple Object Designer, we go and I have a complete blank app here in, in, in the Object Designer. I go to create a new feature because again, if you're creating if you want to create a table, you actually need to create more than just a table. You need to create the table in the database. You need to create some UI to edit the table. You might create some UI to be a fact box and business logic that ties everything together. All of that we call a feature. And uh, I click new feature and we can see that I have a template called data related table. Um, so I'm going to choose that and then I'm there's a lot of stuff I need to fill out here. The first thing I need to fill out is the anchor. So where, what are we relating to? And we do have a fixed list uh, of stuff we can relate to because the simple object designer needs to know how stuff are connected. So we know connection. We can we can create connections for deal accounts, customer vendor items, resources, job, and employees. If um, if you feel that there are other places we need to do this, um, let me know. Uh, in this case, I think I'm going to replicate the, you know, the item attributes, but I'm going to do them on um, on customers. So I'll every every time you create a table, it needs to have a name. So I'll just call this cost attribute. Um, don't make these too long because then you're running out of characters and and the nice name you can put down in the ta table caption. Now we need to decide on what kind of related table we're going to do. Um, so what is the primary key? So every everything in Business Central Every, every piece of data we put into the database has to have a unique identifier. Um, like you cannot, you cannot create two customers with the same number. You cannot create two sales orders with, with the same number and so on. Um, and, and we got two options here. The template allow us two options. One is that we use a field. So on the related table that we are going to create in just a second that we're in the middle of grading right now, we're going to assign one field to be part of the primary key. Um, or if we don't really care about a unique identifier that we just want to be able to put something in, we can let the system create line numbers behind the scene. And I think I'm going to do this in this video. Um, so now we need to s decide what, what UI do we want. Um, do we want a list page? Do we want a card page? Do we want a fact box? Since I'm, I'm just going to go with line numbers here, I'm creating something fairly simple. I don't need a card, but I will need a list page for users to be able to edit it. And I want a fact box, so uh, it'll, it'll look nice on, on when I'm looking at the customer, I can see a fact box in, uh, in the uh, in fax box pane column, whatever we call it. I can also say, yeah, give me a, create an API endpoint. If I want to expose uh, these things uh, as data, I don't think I'm going to do this here. Um, so I click next, no other questions for this wizard. So we click next and now we're on to the feature card for this. And whatever we selected first has already been put in here. So the only thing I need to do now is I need to create a field um, and all fields need a number, and you, when you're adding the first field, you can you know, start with number one. And let's call this for attribute, and I'm just going to do a text. So we're going to keep this very simple. Show on list. That's it. Let's verify the feature. 
the feature is good. Um, and I'm going to close this one. And I'm going to close this one. And now we're done. So I'll, I'm just going to publish this to my environment. I say yes to publish. And what's happening now is that the simple object designer is writing the code. So what's taking place right now is that it's writing code, then it's building the app. Uh, and after it's done building the app, two things happens. The first is that we get the app downloaded here. So if you're doing this in the sandbox, you can take the app, transfer uh, as a file, upload to your production environment, and so you can have you can do your development in a sandbox and then move the the resulting app into your production environment or you can just do this in production if that's how you roll um, the object designer support both methods um, so you got an app file but at the same time since i said yes to publish the app is actually getting published into my sandbox here right now and there's a lot of noise on the screen ignore that look at the first line which top line which is what we're doing right now uh, and i'm just hitting a five you can see that it's in progress of deploying here and this always takes longer when i'm recording videos than when i'm not so in a second this will be done and as soon as it's done, we can try it out on the customer. Um, when you're deploying apps like this, what actually takes place is that we send the app to Microsoft server structure, and then they deploy the app to the environment. So if there's tons of other stuff going on at Microsoft at the same time, you might experience a delay like this. Uh, and to be honest, now it's done. So even though I had to talk for a minute there, it was was not bad. So we're done. We can go back here. What I want to do now is, let's see, I'm actually going to do a controller file here, just reload uh, Business Central. Always good to just reload your session after you have deployed something. Otherwise you might end up with the, something has changed and it asks you to reload. Uh, so let's go to customers here. And uh, we can see that now we have a customer attribute fact box that we just created. And if I go and search for customer attribute, we can see that we got an action on this page. So we can probably find it up here somewhere related customer attribute. Um, and since we just created a simple thing, we can go and say, uh, this is perhaps more like comments than attributes, but we can we can see that we get we get nice lines, and when I close this off, we get the information. So if I go to another one, it's empty, and I can go to customer attributes from here and say this is actually something and something else, and we have. That here I go back to the one with the with the fancy typing. So that's a data related uh, table created with the simple object designer in you know less than a, less than ten minutes. Um, we can get more fancy and combine so we can create a data uh, table and and select select entities here if we use the other primary key method um, there are other examples on, on 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 the channel you can find that uh, to see other ways of using this but uh, that's how you create a uh, a related table with the simple object designer hope you like it um, check it out and um, i'll see you in the next video take care